shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. We have gotten deep, er, deep, deep into the deep roads. Dangerous place. No part of an expedition, so there are a few of us here. But eventually the Darkspawn will get here and mess us all up if we take too long, so we don't want to stay here forever. I don't get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why is that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall, or anything in the rubble. Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. Hmm. Possibly. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. Yeah, let's not care at all about the archaeology of it. Let's just, uh... Raid the place! Blunder! Archon sure seems taken by this place. Why? I don't get it. Says he's never seen anything like it. Maybe some kind of forgotten city. The dwarves forget stuff like this. I guess so. It's been a thousand years since they've been pushed out a majority of the deep roads. Or maybe about a thousand years, I don't know. So, is it really hard to believe that they forgot something? Oh, look at those lyrium veins. They're red for some reason. That can't be good. You found him! I can't believe it! You found him! Hello? I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. No need. I'm glad Sandal was all right. Because of you, you will not regret this. There's a lot of light being spilled out of those lyrium veins there. Hmm. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Whatever we find, it might not be very pleasant. Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. Not... Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh! Look at that! Check it out. One of the golems came alive. Have to kill that thing now. Tough, jeez. There are dwarves that... Uh, the dwarven society is a rather odd one by comparison to any of the human societies. It is a very uh, class-based, or rather caste-based society where if you were born into a certain caste, you were essentially stuck there. You're blah, 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 you're stuck there. And you can't really... Um, there's really not anything you can do to change your status in life. Now, it's something that most people on the surface would find kind of repulsive, even though if it's not really all that different. But it's, uh, it's something that's, for the most part, dwarves living in Orzammar or in the Deep Roads or wherever they happen to be. 
have a rather fierce dedication to. That is their society, that is their way of life, and that's the way that they operate. Ones on the surface, oftentimes are either there on the surface because it didn't really work out for them in Orzammar, so they had to leave, they got exiled, or or they just didn't like the way things were done down there, so they went to the surface. So that's why you start to see certain characters, certain dwarves and stuff that you see on the in the game who left the underground to go live on the surface. And Varric is one of those. Well, he, he was born on the surface, his parents left. But he has no love for the way that the dwarves do things. He doesn't like living underground, he doesn't like uh, their society, all of that stuff is not what he is into. Like, they're doing the same animation. <laughs> that was weird. He doesn't care for all of that, and he is happy with his life on the surface. Not all dwarves are exactly the same way. You see what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyrium? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of Lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. An idol made out of pure Lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around. See if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartred! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? Not just the idol. The location of this tag alone is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Oh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. And I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here. There probably is. The deep roads have a lot of exits to the surface. But that son of a bitch went and screwed us over out of greed. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a person who is really all that loyal to family. He didn't care at all for Hawk. And, well, I guess he never really had any love for Varric either. If he was willing to just sort of let him die in here for the sake of the profit he'll gain out of this. I brought uh, I brought Anders along because Anders is a Grey Warden. Grey Wardens are probably the best people out there to fight Darkspawn, even though storyline-wise it doesn't really make any sense that he comes down here because he doesn't really have anything to contribute. Doesn't contribute anything really storyline-wise, but whatever. That fight was freaking intense. <laughs> it went on for way too long. They, I uh, eventually took out the golem, but they just kept spawning in more shades, and more shades, and more shades. And made, well, what did I just pick up? I don't know, but it, <laughs> it was not an easy fight. That's unfortunately something that'll happen when you bring along two mages and two rogues into a fight like that. Can I get a new, uh, new dagger? It's a bow. That'll happen when you bring along too many mages and all that kind of crap. It'll, um... Two mages, two rogues. I don't have a warrior. I don't have anybody who can, uh... Just sort of... Take a good hit. So... It was all messed up. But anyway. We survived it. Probably would have lost a warrior anyway. Especially if it was a dual handed warrior, you know? Or a two handed warrior. Yeah. 
Oh shit, there's more of them. The fight never actually ended. <laughs> Hell, there's even more of them. Shit. Oh, Varric's out there taking them on. Oh, these aren't friggin' shades. Shit. Bloody flames, what were those things? Another challenging fight. Varric and uh, Bethany both went down. Moving on. Okay, I leveled up and I gained a new uh, attack with Hulk. Oh shit! It came out of nowhere. Oh, whatever. Moving on. Ah, more of them. Enough. You have proven. I would not see these creatures harmed without. You're the first one here that hasn't simply attacked us. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages, beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. They eat the Lyrian. Sounds like a healthy diet. I am not as they are. I am... a visitor. It seems mostly interested in their hunger. It's a demon come to feed. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Don't do it. Demons will trip you up every time. Be careful. I don't like the sound of this. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. <clears throat> so what do you think? Demons are generally bad news, but, uh... I'm not becoming that thing's next meal. Most unwise. Ah! Let's do some killing! Now, a lot of profanes appeared over there. It's also the boss, Big Bad, that's over here. Oh, that's in the Rock Wraith Abomination. Let's go make them all dead. Fortunately, they're all bunched together, so our large area of effect attacks are all going to be effective and um, Hawk's ability to throw the sleeping gas into the group of them, if they're affected by it, will pause them. Dead, dead, and dead. Oh, this one's almost dead. That one's even closer to death.
and shades arrive. In general, in this series, dealing with demons is generally a bad idea. They, even if they act like they're going to help you out, it's generally like uh, just some way to try and take advantage of you, and will find some way to sort of screw you over in the end. Abomination. Abominations are people that were taken over by demons. Now that, it must have been a person. Somebody must have been down here. Probably for the best, you know, <laughs> that we killed it. I can't remember what I did the last time I played through this game, if I made a deal with it or not. Although, these things wouldn't be attacking me if uh, I did this time. The AoE attacks are already in progress. Shades! Jumps. Oh, the fight's still going on. Hey, <laughs> what am I doing? Get some level ups. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there. That can't be good. Okay, it's the biggin. Let's go and kill him. Ancient rock wraith. Uh, okay. Caesar's already active. Um, I'm not sure uh, what weaknesses this thing has. I'm gonna hold off on the AOE attacks until uh, until the spawn things come in and attack me. Also, okay, I'm gonna pay a little bit more attention. <laughs> Uh, we should probably get away from that. Oh, oh shit! That is brutal. Damn! I don't see any additional ones spawning in. Okay, so they've they have spawned in. All right, that'll give me an opportunity though. That ought to do it.
Better get the hell out of the way. Oh, not healed. Get the hell away, I guess. <laughs> oh, I can hide back here. Ha, huh, that's awesome. Okay, it looks like the pattern is it will go and do that. It'll go and make that big attack. You hide behind the columns. And then when it attack is over with, it exposes its weak point, stops attacking, but all of the added monsters come in during that time. So, you're going to want to save up, well, I don't have it active now, because characters apparently just go and do shit, <laughs> but you want to save up your area of effect attacks to go and take these things out. I'm going to utilize Hawk, though, to go and take these things out in that case, because they sort of made the decision for me by attacking on their own on their own whim, so... Somebody's gotta make sure that the other characters don't get taken apart. I'm assuming hiding is a good idea right now. Hide, 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 hide. Get your asses back here. Get back here! What's <laughs> your problem? Varric's already got the hail of arrows coming down, and oh man, she's already got the firestorm. So everything's already underway. It's almost dead. are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Let's see if there's something that can help us get out of here. Oh, the ones that I didn't kill are still back there. <laughs> oh, nope, they died. Okay, there's a big-ass treasure. Bartram may have gotten away with the idol, but look at all this crap. Yeah! A key. The kind that opens doors, I hope. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. I'm gonna have to throw away a lot of junk. Okay, I got all the stuff. I, I had made a stupid decision while I was going through this. Maybe one of the reasons why I had a harder time going through here than I thought that I should. Anders wasn't wearing any equipment. He was just sort of standing around without any of this stuff, and he had a crappy staff that he started with. I didn't bother upgrading that. Same thing with Bethany, although hers was a little bit better. So neither of them were doing the damage they should have been able to do. He wasn't didn't have the perks and upgraded armor and all that kind of crap that he should have had. And uh <laughs> stupid mistake. Alright, time to move on. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. 